This is a 2700 square foot custom A-frame cabin with one of the most beautiful interiors I have seen. I'm very happy to be here. I'm gonna take a tour of this place today, so let's go check it out. are going crazy today. I don't know if you can hear them. We are here in Bethel, Maine at the main A-frame. I've seen this place online for so long and I'm happy to be here. The beautiful state of Maine in the fall weather. Cannot ask for a better time to be here. Bethel is two minutes of a drive to this A-frame and we're here right in the middle of the woods. You can probably hear the birds chirping right now. It is very peaceful and beautiful out here but so close to town, best of both worlds, if you ask me. So whenever you pull up onto this property, go down the driveway, it's at the very end of a private uh, drive, so no cars will even be driving near you, it's just you out here. You pull up, the road winds through the forest, and then the A-frame gets revealed. Beautiful black exterior with the lights all around. You can see all the soft fits on the sides as well. Lots of space on the interior and it just looks really grand on the exterior. Surrounded by mulch, your driveway isn't uh, making the place ugly. I think the nature around all of this is beautiful. And then there's a couple things to do on the exterior, but we'll get to that later in this video. The front door, we can either walk through the front right in the middle of these windows on the A-frame or off to the side, which the side also has a Tesla charger right here if you bring an electric car, which is cool. So let's walk through the side door and check out the interior. The hosts built and designed this house with the intent to keep the interior as natural and organic as the beautiful world that surrounds it. Instead of painting the walls, they used eco-friendly non-toxic clay plaster, which regulates temperature, purifies the air, and smells great. From the hand-poured concrete island to the charred siding, Brass lighting fixtures, wool rugs, rattan light fixtures, natural materials were used whenever possible to bring outside in. And the first thing you walk into is the massive foyer area. On this right side, plenty of golden hooks all along this wall to hang your stuff. There's a bench that goes all across the wall, some shelves above, so plenty of area to get ready at, put your shoes on, get your ski stuff ready if you come here to ski in the winter. I know that's a big popular thing here. And then we can walk out of this and into your main space. This area is huge. If we look up to the ceilings, the vaulted ceilings are massively tall and they did the shiplap all along this as well. I think they said it's one linear mile of wood for all the shiplap in here and they used a custom stain for all of this. Incredible. The floors are concrete, radiant floor heating all throughout this home and the massive windows all around let in a lot of natural light. The light colors in here help with all of that. Everything is uniform and I'm just a big fan of it all. There's the dining table right here on this side where you first walk in. Bench seating up against this wall. It's all underneath your staircase that leads up to the loft and then you can continue along into your kitchen space. This left side is your kitchen, massive island with the custom concrete countertop here and that continues on the other side as well, the concrete countertop. There's some seating on this right side, the beautiful lighting fixtures above this island. I'm really liking the siding on it with this like half rounded look. I'm not sure what it's called, but big fan of that. And on this side, we have some cabinets underneath it. The microwave is hidden underneath this as well. Custom cabinetry, golden handles and fixtures. I can't complain at all. The refrigerator is the first thing on this left side. Cafe appliances, the white with the gold, always a good look. And then continuing along the countertop, there's your coffee maker. The sink right here in the middle is one of my favorite parts because of the small little window and the lighting fixture above it. The apron front sink design is really cool. It's not just that smooth look we normally see. This one looks elegant. And then continuing along, they left a gift basket here for you with some jelly, some oats, some drinks. Very nice to leave for the guests at a luxury stay. And then more coffee supplies and floating shelves over here on this right wall. Cool feature in here though is this little shelf on this window. It's like a suction shelf if you look underneath it. And this is where they have your mats for the dining table, which is pretty cool. A nice little floating shelf on the window. The next part is the living room. On this side, we have a huge 
gray couch that faces your frame TV up against this that is mounted above your gas fireplace for those cold, cozy months, which is nice. Lots of greenery in here, green plants all the way around, and this couch is probably one of the fluffiest couches I've been on. You can just see how thick the cushions are and the armrests are. It's very nice, and this is just a pretty simple living room. There's also an additional chair in here and a coffee table, and that is this main open area, really large. This house is 2,700 square feet of living space. Space, so I'd expect it to be large. We're not done with this main floor. If we continue back down this hallway off of the dining room, we got some bedrooms and bathrooms to check out. This first door on the right is actually your laundry room. Very nice to have a washer and dryer in here. A whole room dedicated to your laundry with a bench on top of it to uh, fold all your stuff. And then we continue. First bedroom is right here in front of us. It's the smallest one, but you got the bed on this left side, some night lights, cool lighting fixtures in here as well, and all throughout this A-frame. There's also a closet in here. If we open up these doors, we got the closet with the automatic light. This door back here is a utility closet, so we won't open that. I'm a big fan of this bed frame. You can always tell when a place is luxurious when they have custom bed frames or unique looking bed frames. This one is cool, fits with the A-frame very well. And the last thing I'll point out in this bedroom is the wood slat design all along the bottom half of these walls in this room. Very cool. So they took a very simple bedroom design, but made it feel luxurious. We can walk out of that and into the first bathroom. This bathroom has your vanity on this right side, the toilet, and then a tiled shower with a bathtub on the bottom. This bathtub is kind of square shaped, gold fixtures all around. The tiling is really nice in here. Even the gold bar that's hanging the curtain is very cool. This is the only bathtub in the entire house, so this bathroom's pretty unique. We can walk out of that now, down the hallway again. This last door is your other bedroom. This bedroom is massive. There's four beds in here, two bunk beds. The bottom bed is a full-size bed. Cool wood sliding all around this. Lights in here as well or you can climb the ladder right here and up into the smaller bed up top that also has a light also has cool wood sliding inside very nice looking the arch above the bed is elegant there's a large frame TV in here as well on this wall. And then right in the middle of this is a window with a rug, kind of like the play area, because I would imagine this is definitely the room for the kids. And behind the door, there's a bunch of games. So you can play in here. All the kids, I'm sure, would have a blast in here. We can walk out of that. The last room on this bottom floor is the other bathroom in this hallway. A little bit smaller, we can walk in here. Vanity on this left side, completely different from the first vanity. And then back behind here is a tiled walk-in shower. Very cool tiling in here as well, very different from the other one. The gold fixtures, the glass wall, very nice in here. So we can walk out of that, and that is everything on this main floor. Every room has radiant floor heating, or you can control AC in every room differently. So if one room wants to be really cold and the other one doesn't want to be, it could all be changed, which is so cool. Very nice and luxurious to be able to change your temperature room by room. Okay, now let's walk over to the stairs and walk up these. Very cool light fixtures on the stairs as well. Whenever we get up here, great views of the kitchen and living room. This is awesome. And we can turn around. There is a little foyer area before we get into the last bedroom. The bench on this right side. This ladder leads up to a little nook, which is cool. I'm sure the kids would love to explore and play up here. And up here is just a small little area with a couple blankets and pillows to just hang out at. The kids can use their imagination, do whatever they want, but I guess this is technically three levels, I guess. This would be the third level. Anyway, nice, fun addition. And we can walk into the main bedroom, which is up here now. This bedroom is, of course, the largest one. King-size bed over on this left side with the custom bed frame that comes right out of the wall. It matches all of the other interior in here. Cool lighting fixtures on both sides of this. All of these windows over on this wall are really nice, and there's actually a sliding door off of this. If we open up this door, this leads out to your private rooftop deck area just for this bedroom. So if you want to get away, chill, and relax for a bit from the chaos that might be happening inside. Come out here, drink some coffee, and enjoy your time. Can't go wrong. And then we can walk back inside. There is an attached ensuite bathroom in here. This one is the largest bathroom. And here we have a double vanity sink option over on this right side. The tiling and mirrors all behind this, and then a boudet toilet over on this left side. One cool thing I want to notice is that the tiling around the toilet, the pattern changed from the tiling all along this wall. Nice little detail that might have went unnoticed, but I think it's cool. 
And then on this other side, we have one of the largest tiled showers I've seen. It's not standard at all. When you walk over here, tiling all along this wall, the shower is on this left side with your glass wall right here, but it's just a massive looking shower that takes up this entire half. So this is the ensuite bathroom. And then the last thing, there is an attached closet in here. Plenty of shelves to uh, hang up your clothes, even some hangers over here on this right side. So this bedroom has it all, definitely for whoever booked this place, I'm sure, will be sleeping in this one. So now we can walk outside. There's a couple things to explore. If we walk around back, here's your hot tub. Very nice to have the hot tub. We haven't seen this color palette for the hot tub on the inside, so pretty unique and then a fire pit all the way over here away from the house with some string lights they leave some firewood here for you and fire starters beautiful setting here at the main a-frame if you want to come check it out the uh, the booking link is down in the description below the hosts are so kind this is one of my favorite stays i really did enjoy it and I think you guys will too. It's definitely on the top end of Airbnbs I've been to. Very luxurious, well-crafted, looks amazing, and the location is incredible if you wanna come and visit Maine. So I highly suggest it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.